Okay, in this video we're going to compute the expectation of a discrete uniform distribution. So we're going to suppose that our random variable x is uniformly distributed on 1, 2, all the way up to n. And that's where we're going to start at. This was what was done in the te text. And then we're going to relax this a little bit by giving variables to both the starting integer and the ending integer after we um, walk through this example. And this is in such a way that each number is equally likely. And that's what it means to be a uniformly distributed random variable. Okay, so to get the expectation, we take the sum of the products of the values and their probabilities. So the sum here is going to range over all the possibilities. It goes from 1 to n. The value is k, and the probability is the probability that x equals k. Okay, so this is the sum from k equals 1 to n of k. And I know that the, for a discrete uniform distribution, uh, the probability that x is any one of these values is just 1 over n. Okay, and then to find this value, we are going to use Wolfram Alpha, so let me pull that up here. Again, we're doing the sum of k times 1 over n, so I'll just write that as k over n, and we're summing from k equals 1 to n. Press enter. And that shows me that this expectation is m plus 1 over 2. So let me go back to my Blackboard screen. So we saw that this expectation was m plus 1 over 2. Okay. And that was done in the, in the text. Now alternatively, I'm going to take a little bit of a different take on this. And I want to do a different version of the expectation for the... Um, for a discrete uniform random variable. Suppose instead that x is in a set a, a plus 1, all the way up to b. And I'm going to consider these a's and b's to be integers. They really don't have to be. It just has to be that they're difference. It is, is an integer for this to make sense. So that, for example, it could be 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. And we're going to do this again in such a way that each number is equally likely. likely. Then the expectation is the sum from k equals a to b of k times the probability that x equals k. And that is, let's see, the sum of k equals a to b of k times, let's see, how many numbers are there here? It's not exactly b minus a, right? For example, if I have a set, if a is 1 and b is 2, there's two numbers there, but b minus a is just 1. Okay, you, you lose one of those endpoints. So it's b minus a plus 1. So it should be 1 over b minus a plus 1. Okay, and we'll enter this into Wolfram Alpha. We have the sum of k divided by b minus a plus 1, and we're summing from k equals a to b. And we find that this is a plus b over 2. So if I go back to my blackboard here, this is just a plus b over 2. So the expectation that we found up here is actually a special case, because in that case, b is in 
A is 1, and the order got switched a little bit. In either case, notice that, notice that the expectation for a uniform discrete rate of variable is just the average of the possible values. Right? It's very clear from there. A plus B over 2, that's what you do when you compute an average. You add, add them up and divide by how many there are. So if you take the average of the endpoints, uh, uh, average of the smallest and lowest values, that gives you this. Also, if you were to average together all the values, that would give you the A plus B over 2. Okay, so there is the expectation for discrete uniform distribution.